game that, uh, let's see, uh, likely against Kazuya. Oh. Now we're actually going to be looking at another uh, hero versus wolf who, um, I mean, that's what VV lost to in uh, Winner's Semis was LRA Starts Wolf. Mm -hmm. So we'll see, you know, how Dark Blues can compare if he's able to also take out VV. I actually had noted Dark Blues actually played uh, Wolf. I'm sure he played something before Kaze released, but, you know, he's been grinding that Kaze up that I'm so surprised that he's able, to, he's uh, chosen Wolf. But you know what, against Hero, yeah, because <laughs> Hero can keep, definitely keep Kazuya at a, a really good range. So this change to Wolf was a really good choice on uh, on Dark Blues' part. Oh my oh, god, the sizzle. Scary. No, so what would have happened? Y'all know what would happen, right? It would have went back and forth until someone released their reflector or bounced effect war off, and that would have been nasty. Gain that with four till on uh, on Hero. No, still, was... still. <laughs> it, it, VV, don't don't do all that when we have reflector out. That will reflect back onto you and. It doesn't increase the chance of Thwack happening, but Thwack is Thwack. At 3%, it can and has happened before. Mm -hmm. Magic Burst. <laughs> <laughs> I was waiting for it. So despite Stock 1 looking very strongly in Vivi's favor, Dark Blues was able to hold a Stock lead for just a little bit, but 32% uh, now on Vivi. And he has Accelerottle on deck. Oh, looking to catch the tech with the up tilt, but not able to find it. VV keeping this very even right now, uh, looking to keep that same momentum he had in Sock 1. Yeah, Dark Blues is really using those effective to his advantage, trying to make sure that Hero is not able to use, you know, any of his sniping moves like Sizzle or Sizz, or the, with the Kaboom without the Reflector, that would have been definitely devastating for VV. and it's so important for VV to keep up balance at the moment, because now he's seeing that Dark Blues is using that Reflector, like he depends on it, and he yeah, does. Yeah, no, Dark Blues has absolutely been using Reflector way more than we saw in LRA start set, actually. Oh my god, just barely away from that forest match against Hero. That swoosh hit from so far away. Again, oh! don't do that! Ah! The Thwack does get reflected. It is not a stationary move. It's not a move like Zappo where it does not get reflected. Thwack does get reflected, and you were at a high percentage, and that could have been absolutely lethal. So please, must be careful with those uh, with timing your projectiles and making sure that you are able to get um, not reflected from Wolf, but VV taking that up, that second stock with up tilt. You now VV is trying to give the commentary booth a heart attack right now. Literally, <laughs> th Thwack reflected is like, you you played yourself. That's exactly what it feels like. Two dash attacks, very, very brave of you. Accelerado on, Kafirz is charged. Oh, grabbed him out of the up smash, looked to catch some tech on the uh, the platform that you can see was still smoldering from the Kafriz. All right, got a little bit of a heal, and he did get zoom. I didn't even see it through the uh, the tourney uh, or the bracket UI. If you ever see like the shortest uh, like thing, it was probably zoom. That's how that's how I always try to get zoom off stage. I don't even I don't read it. I see how short it is compared to everything else, and I hope it's not bang. <laughs> oh, gain that four to yep. Shield bash forward too. Perfect. That was a great way to close out the first game. But that has nothing to sneeze at because he was definitely struggling for a hot minute there. And that reflected thwack sent, <laughs> sent my body to the Ooh. like the ethereal world and came back. I was so scared. He was at just a high percentage. Could have been absolutely lethal and taking off the stock of off of him. But thankfully, you know, RNG was on VV's side for once. Yeah, I do want to see this first stock again, actually. Yeah, at me 61. too. Dark Blues caught him with the down smash, and yeah, it was just a, a little bit charged. It's such a small, like, it was just a, 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 a uh, he was just a low percentage, and dying at, to a down smash, the two frame down smash is crazy. Mm-hmm. Hero Wolf. Right. <laughs> we are going to be seeing a small battlefield counter pick, both uh, same characters. I do agree with, um, I do agree with Dark Blues sticking with the wolf. Mm -hmm. Agree. Kaji is just not the good matchup for Hero at the moment. Like, he's just not trying to get that whoosh out of shield. Not really going to do much with it. But getting that. Oh, okay. Ooh, that there. Was a, uh, it was a cute little uh, down into reverse nair. Tried to get the jab lock F smash, but just barely missing it. Maybe trying to get that. Oh, Kazap! Kazap is a very bold choice, especially because it's such a long startup that your opponent can react to it so quickly. 
Yeah, I really feel like it. it's really just useful in catching people who are scared in shield, because I believe it goes through shield, doesn't it? Um, it either goes through shield or it eats shields. It will, it will eat your shield if it's a, if it's a psych up hero, because Zap, it will break your shield, which is evil. Mm -hmm. But that was the second time he tried that option, so I wonder if Vivi has some new, you know, technique that he found out with because that he's trying to, you know, land with. But right now, he has to... Oh, zoom. Hi, zoom. That was a great catch by Dark Blues with the, the Firewolf uh, with the downward angle. And he's gonna have to use Kaswoosh, okay. just barely making it back. Alright, only able to punish that up smash with a jab. And Vivi's just chilling in the corner right now, looking through his menus, seeing what he wants to order. I'll have a zoom, Seems please, thank wants you. To order. And a psych up. Right, he does have psych up on deck, so I don't think he's quite in psych up up throw, but the no. uh, fair from ledge will get Vivi plenty of space, forcing Dark Blues to recover the ledge for himself. Uh oh. Ooh, that was maybe some not great DI. Oh, Dark Blues yep. was looking to catch Vivi, I think, uh, with the Firewolf. I think he helped down, uh, so that's why he didn't catch ledge. Vivi waiting for enough MP to get uh, back on stage with Woosh. Good on him, getting that zoom. Only He's been having a little bit of MP recently. I wonder if there's, you know, he's been using a great tech by Vivi, making sure he's able to get back on stage with a small Woosh. Ooh, a little gotta bit be of a teabag. Oh, so we teabagging. All uh, right, and you know what? It, you did get the stock out of it. Vivi was at 200%, but you did get the stock. The flag with the reflector, please. I'm begging. I'm on my hands and knees begging. Well, Vivi also had bounce on, so I don't actually know what that interaction would have looked like. Uh, I want to say it'll cancel out. I want to say that's gonna ha uh, that's what would happen. Like, it yeah, wouldn't go back and forth. Yeah, thwack isn't like a moving projectile. It just the hitbox shifts, and then from one to another, and then I think after it reflects once, it doesn't, um, you know, go back to the third person. That'd be so scary if it did. Great catch with the F tilt. Almost got it again with Dark Blues coming on with the reflector. Oh uh, yeah, Dark Blues has been throwing out this reflector a lot, and I think Vivi is really catching on to that. Oh my god. That was the, 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 the little skid back that Vivi did away from the bang that would actually killed him at that percentage. <laughs> A great, great catch on his part. Oh, the movement! Oh, yes! That was some sick movement. That was a little bit of LSK, I believe. He's everywhere. I saw that was still active. That's the funny part. Like it, It's been going on for so long. Just sm He's sh moving. Yeah, he's really... Using that sort of Lucario style movement with the, the B reverses and wave bounces. Mm -hmm. I really feel like Vivi's, Vivi seems to be the type of player who just kind of has fun with it. And I think that's why we've been seeing every single thwack on the menu. But I'm glad that he's been using more thwack, you know. It's just it's just a funny little move. And honestly, it could really change, like, make or break the game. Or make or break like, getting the stock or getting a, a win. <laughs> he was hovering over Hatchet Man. Hatchet Man. He was thinking about it. Listen. Oh. Oh no. That's yeah. how that's how game two ends? Yeah. Cause swoosh. Mm. Yeah, and Vivi wasn't able to get the zoom. Yeah, cause swoosh has amazing vertical reach, but it does not have the best horizontal. Like if no. you go up, you're you're gonna go like a little bit over and you gotta you gotta hope and pray that you get like you like ledge grab. Yeah, it doesn't doesn't really have that uh that drift. No, see, he was way too far. I he lo he definitely lost his jump. Yeah, he did. Mm -hmm. Had he jumped, he would have been able to come back just fine. But right here, oh no, not right here. But this is the the tea bag <laughs> death. <laughs> I love a little bit of toxicity in, in my matchups. <laughs> a little bit of spice. A little bit. Oh, yeah. that was such a sick edge guard though, using that Kafriz movement. Yeah, that wasn't quite LSK, but. That was really smooth. LSK means ledge, uh, ledge like the swoosh. I see. Mm -hmm. I've learned something today. Yeah, it's it's a he did it. I believe uh, yesterday. It's basically you, you slip off the ledge. You literally slip off the ledge. Cause swoosh your opponent into uh, into the cause swoosh and then back air, and it's basically just really really mean to do. Cause hero doesn't get caught in his own cause swoosh, of course. Right. All right. VB running it right back to small battlefield. Same character, but switching off to the luminary. Shout outs to eleven. Eleven, my beloved. Play Dragon Quest XI, everyone. Please, Please do. Greatest, R greatest RPG of like 2018 when it released. 
forward tilt. Only get a little bit of percentage gain that bounce up. Surprised he didn't do a thwack since he's been kind of bold with that lately. He has been. Have we seen the thwack actually kill nope. on stream yet? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> Not VVs at least. I'm sure we've seen like a Sovio thwack or something, but I haven't seen VV get. I actually have never seen VV also get a crit. And That's been, true. And because he doesn't, he doesn't, he doesn't like uh, use uh, forest matches that often or any of his match attacks. And I really wish that like he did. Cause I love seeing the like, luminaries crit sound is so nice. Oh, it is. oh, thankfully had. Oh, oh looking at no, two frame another down smash. two frame by Dark Blues. Yep. Things are looking much more in Dark Blues' favor right now in terms of momentum. You know, both game, uh, you know, game one and game two. The start of game two, especially, was looking in. Yeah, Dark Blues just had so much momentum, and right now he is keeping that train moving. It's funny because Dark Blues is just not letting uh, VV do the the commands that because I saw him cover over Kaboom and Wolf Projectile just completely cancel out his menu, not letting him use Kaboom like he likely wanted to do. Mm -hmm. um, again, Dark Blues is keeping up a really good lead right now. Can he read the zoom? Almost <laughs> getting on the, on the side of that platform. Whoosh. All right, out of shield. Oh, I'm I'm, I'm surprised he didn't do Whoosh into a, a, a up tilt right there. Looking for that the felt, up tilt. Yeah. Trying to get that psych up up throw, I know it. Oh, but waking psych up over on that up tilt on, that, on shield. Psych up Celerado active at yep. the moment. Another one on deck, but runs right into the wolf dash attack. Not it, Definitely oh not going to be able to punish that F smash. Dark Blues was playing it safe, but running into that, uh, into that dash attack. It's barely getting out of whack. Another zoom. Not able to find his mark that time. But I mean, Vivi just has not been able to find this next stock. And Dark Blues is taking it all the way to the bank right now. Oh, that was such good pressure with the uh, just the dashing. Thankfully, he has enough MP to come back on stage. Getting uh, Kaswoosh with 36, which requires 18 MP, as I said before. Kamikaze, the only option because I think Kaswoosh has only one MP. Finally go. getting that first hop, but he's at 150 percent, and zero and uh, and Dark Blues are only only at three percent. Use swoosh, and Dark Blues has been showing. I think we've seen at least two two good down smash uh, two frames. So you, you know VD's got to be scared of that right now. Mm -hmm. Ooh, but a good F tilt. Can we put Dark Blues back off stage, oh, looking for another thwack? Not quite gonna make it just because like you know Legend Vin uh, Vin Invincibility. Had he just waited maybe a second longer, he would have actually gotten it. Possibly. Ooh, all right, good side B from Ledge. Gonna be getting Vivi some space, and Vivi is, you know, starting to bring this back, putting Dark Blues in those kill percentages. If he's able to take the stock first, you know, that'll be huge for Vivi. Gain oh, that bang, right in the falling back off the platform for his uh, Dark Blues. Again, VV at 179 percent, 182, one back row. Not quite nice. gonna do it. Surprisingly, Accelerado off the stage, trying to recover, gain that. Yep, yep, you're done. There we go. VV had uh, no invincibility there. Oh off my of gosh, the, uh, off the ledge. That could have been so bad had he had he not had invincibility from recovering off from his uh, stock. Jabbing into trying to get a falling fair. All right, so VV has brought this back to even after such a. Dominant showing uh, from Dark Blues in the first couple of interactions. But being kept off stage by Dark Blues right now. Another back air gonna be putting VV off stage. Has to find his way off this ledge. Finally with a uh, jump in fair. Yeah, VV absolutely calling out those uh those jumping back airs that Dark Blues has been doing so often. Getting psych up, getting not quite boom for a Salerado. Oh there it is, I talked too fast. There we go. Avoiding all of these uh again oof He's as fully well. Charged. Oh, he has that Kyle Ken times 20 right now. Uh, one, one forward smash is gonna break Dark Blues' shield. I think even just an aerial mm -hmm. will do it, but I think Psych Up might be offline. Oh. It's hard to tell with the particle effects. That's oof at the moment. Oh no, I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah, that, that is Psych Up. All right, yeah, I think all of the slash into snooze. <gasps> just it didn't There's connect. No way. All right, another Psych Up. Trying to get that, trying to read those jumps. Oh, uh, yeah, another uh, F tilt absolutely would have done it. Mm hmm. Vivi's been connecting a lot of those. Oh, he had oomph in the menu. 
Oh, this is it? No. Zoom back on DI stage. On Be tag. careful. Maybe not to get right with the zoom. Back air might not do... Oh, okay. No, he didn't Great do back match. throw. Oh, my God. That up, that running up tilt was so risky by BB. Oh, just Billy missing the the wolf dash attack. Accelerado. And psych, psych up. up. I think up... Oh, no! There's no, no the way. up air catches him. Yep. And you could see it on Dark Blues uh, in the player camp. That was a hard-fought victory. Dark Blues moving over, getting uh, rooming through losers bracket. Vivi is now out of the tournament. Down to the wire. I think it was because Vivi just barely landed on the uh, the right mm -hmm. side edge of that platform. I know that Wolf took the last stock, but looking at Dark Blues' face for a split second, I thought yeah, something happened, and I was like. Did he die? Right. <laughs> but no, definitely, you can just tell how much anxiety, how much, like, literally the sweat on that controller right now, I know is drenched. <laughs>